Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, as the third installment, I bring you another unique, clean Windows 11 setup for you guys to try out for yourselves. And this one will truly take your Windows desktops to another world. So if you want to see more setups just like this one, make sure to smash that like button. And if we hit a score of 80 likes, I'll make sure to add even more pizzazz, just like I do with my home screen setups. Oh and of course, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. And finally, to get your favourite images animated for your mobile phones, make sure to submit them right within the Epic Live Wallpaper app itself. And of course, don't forget to boost them right to the top, with the number one ranking request made on a weekly basis. So don't miss out. Now with this setup, we're going for an out of the world clean desktop look with a dock like transformation to our Windows taskbar for all of our currently running applications which is mirrored and complemented by this quick access floating panel for all of our most used programs which of course would be customized to match your own personal needs. And as for the elephant in the room, this super unique interactive world which can be fully manipulated, making it completely custom to you, allowing you to add in cities, rivers and even rainforests, giving you that Age of Empires, Civilization or even my favourite black and white feel to your desktops. So now let's recreate this. By default, your Windows 11s should look something like this, cluttered with desktop icons, with a couple different docked apps and features that you may not even use, and of course, maybe a custom wallpaper. Overall, looking kind of a bit basic. So, first things first, let's declutter and clean up our windows. Starting off with our desktop icons. So here, instead of removing them one by one or even just chucking them into a folder, let's just simply right click anywhere on our desktop and toggle off the show desktop icons. And poof, they're gone. Now, let's tweak our taskbar. But before we do, let's head over to the Microsoft Store and install the app Rounded TV. This is going to allow us not only to remove all of that blank space for the taskbar, but also give us this rounded look. But before we jump into this software, let's simplify our taskbar icons, removing not only these annoying, useless features, but also any apps that we don't need. Just simply right click anywhere on the taskbar and head into the taskbar settings. Here, we're first going to disable all of these optional taskbar features. After which, scrolling further down, under taskbar behavior, we also want to set its alignment to center. Now at this point, using rounded TB, just simply toggle on both of these options right here and hit apply, giving you something similar to this. Oh and at this point, let me just add in that if you want to adjust the curvature and thickness of the bar, just simply play around with these two options here. Additionally, if your taskbar looks a bit off or glitched out with rounded TV turned on, just simply head back to your alignment options and redo the alignment step. Now, for those of you looking to simplify your Windows quick setting indicators and even tidy them up a bit, just simply head back to the taskbar settings and look for the section labeled Taskbar Corner Overflow. Here, you'll be able to toggle off the app indicators themselves, hiding them away from your desktops. And finally, let's remove any unwanted apps from the taskbar. For this, just simply right click on the app icons themselves and hit Unpin. Or, adversely, to add them back in, just find the app icons themselves, right click it and hit Pin. It's literally as easy as that. But here, for my example, I'm going to keep my taskbar as clean as possible. Now, as a quick note, before we grab ourselves the live interactive wallpaper, for those of you wondering how I managed to get my explorer windows and taskbars to be black, basically this is due to the custom color theme that I'm using. Just simply search for the theme settings within windows and then you can select from either presets or you can even customize your own theme. So feel free to have a play around until you get to a look that you're happy with. 
So now that we have the base sorted, let's grab ourselves this awesome live wallpaper. For this, you are going to need the software Wallpaper Engine, which is a paid program. However, as a long time user, I can definitely say it's well worth the money. With literally thousands of wallpapers right at your fingertips, you can grab this one straight from the Steam store. So once you do have it set up, you should have a screen much like this with your currently installed wallpapers highlighted. So with this one, long story short, if you ever want to find yourself some additional wallpapers, just use the discovery tab, search for a file, and then click on the subscribe button, adding it to your installed section. It's as easy as that. Now, as for that interactive world, for this, I'll leave a link down in the video description below for you guys all to use. Just load it up while logged into your Steam account and then click on the subscribe button. After which, you may need to restart Wallpaper Engine in order for it to appear. So after subscribing, within the Install tab, you should be able to find it by simply typing Polly. And that's it. You should now have that unique planet backdrop set up on your desktops. At which point, you can freely play around with it, just as I'm showing here. Oh, by the way, I do need to say, if your systems are a bit sluggish or struggling to keep up with the wallpaper itself, just right click on the wallpaper engine tray icon and then within its settings, you can adjust its performance, graphics and even behavior itself until you get to that smooth experience. Next up, let's grab ourselves this custom floating dock setup. This one comes courtesy of Winstep by Nexus. Just simply grab it directly from their website and while it's being installed, make sure to also download this zip file which contains not only custom icons but also a Nexus backup. Now at this point, you should have this default Nexus panel on your desktop. So as for that zip file, we want to extract it directly to your C drive where your Windows by default should be installed. Now before we move on, just double check that you have this theme folder as well as its contents set up just as I have. Now jumping into the Nexus preferences, using the advanced tab, we want to click on that restore button and navigate to our extracted folder where you'll find two different backups, one for 1080p screens and another for 1440. So just select the one that fits your screen, but overall they should really be exactly the same. Now, at this point, you should notice that all of those icons within the Nexus panel itself has been updated. And as long as we extracted that zip file to the right location, your icons should also appear just like mine. So now that we have a template up, let's customize it and implement the softwares that we actually use. Now for this, let's start off by right clicking on the dark part of the panel and we want to select the option to unlock the icons. This is going to allow us to freely edit it just as we want. Now just right click on the icons and delete the ones that you don't need. And for the ones you want to keep, if they're having issues opening up the programs, such as this Chrome icon is, just right click it and within its properties, you want to edit that file name details. As a super quick guide, within Windows Explorer, just open up the location of that exe file. And then using the directory bar, just highlight and copy the root and then paste that within the Nexus property section. And of course, make sure to match up the exe name. With the green part being the directory root and the red the program name. And as for adding in new programs, just simply drag and drop the shortcuts directly into the Nexus dock itself. So at this point, feel free to fully customize the panel itself, adding in your favorite applications. Now, as for the dock behavior, sound effects and even its appearance, you can change all of that and tweak it right within the preference settings itself. Just make sure to take your time and have a good play around. Oh and as a final tip, if you want your dock to always be visible, even if your apps are full screen, you can adjust that right within the position tab. Here, as I use dual monitors, I always like to keep instant access to my Nexus dock, even if my programs are full screen. Now if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure to hit that like button as well as subscribe to the channel, so you don't miss out on the next one. And as for your live wallpaper requests, make sure to boost them right within the epic live wallpaper app itself. See you guys next time on Into the Parkiverse.